Kwa kifupi, it is an embarrassment to see members of parliament and especially those within Jubilee um, listening to insults towards the former head of state, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, and remaining silent. Some of those members are people he has personally, financially supported, even campaigned for to become members of parliament, if not this term, at least in 2017. And it's an embarrassment to see them opening their mouths and uh, threatening uh, his, uh, himself or threatening his family or even trying to threaten uh, properties that belong to, the first, to that family. Um, and like my colleagues have said, I also just want to repeat the same. Dare you. Yes. Yeah. Dare you. Yes. You want to put the country on fire? Dare yeah. you. Yeah. Arrest Uhuru or arrest Laira. You are playing with fire. <coughs> the other one is that clearly we have a, a, a regime here that wants to take us back to the dark days. Where there was no freedom of media. We saw a letter coming from CCK yesterday. It's ridiculous to say the least. Those are days we left long time. And some of us could not even imagine a person of the age of Shiroba could issue such a letter. Forget about contemplating. Again, it's another dare. Let them dare take us back to those uh, uh, dark days. We have the issue of IBC. We now see that they've been allocated 7.2 billion shillings. We have a problem, and we have stated it within Azimio, that we do not recognize the composition intended by the law that was passed by William Ruto. You do not need to be told what a country like Kenya can go through and has gone through in the past when we have messed up the electoral processes in this country. Clearly, there are people who don't have any respect for the history of this country because you can never constitute IBC single-heartedly. Again, crucially, we know that uh, IBC is about to embark on the demarcation of boundaries in this country. And some of the members of uh, or chairmen from the counties here come from counties that are likely to lose constituencies because they don't meet the threshold. So we are going for demarcation of boundaries without the protection that was being sought for for the constituencies that don't meet the threshold. We do not want this done in secrecy. We want it put clearly and without any ambiguity, and we want it ahead of time. What is it they intend to do? And in any case, they cannot undertake the boundaries review when they have not been constituted in a manner that we have all agreed upon. We've talked about Madamano, and we now know again some two politicians within Mount Kenya have already reached out to some uh, young people so that they can be planted within our Madamanos as goons to cause trouble from within. I want to caution the young men. Please, if you don't belong to, if you don't believe in the Madamano, the revolution that is with us now, if you don't believe in it, do not attempt to join it. You will be swallowed by the crowd and they have a way of even smelling you that you don't belong to them we saw it on monday please don't risk your life by coming to join because of having been paid some one or two thousand shillings and finally is to mention this uh, because there are people who are getting confused a bit this government uh, that is illegitimate in fact the best thing is to call it a regime this regime of william ruto has in a very cunning way covered their daily isolation of mount kenya those who come from mount kenya region or have anything to do with mount kenya be aware this william gachiethera government or company their work is to isolate mount kenya and to leave us as political destitutes in this country we are being used you can tell by the number of suckings that are happening from those who come from Mount Kenya. The number of businesses that are being closed on a daily basis. 
This morning we had people from the textile industry. They have now been told that there is going to be only one color uniform for all schools in this country. Imagine how many tailors are going to be uh, thrown out of business in this country. How many businesses are going to be closed. How, what kind of unemployment levels we are going to put in this country. So every day, every single day, there is something being done to get Mount Kenya on its knees. Na wale ambao walichaguliwa wako kule bunge, kama walichaguliwa kwa vya magani ya magani, na wametoka Mount Kenya, sasa wafugue wakifikira zao. Killing Mount Kenya does not help the country. It makes the country worse. And no region should be targeted like they are targeting Mount Kenya. I thank you. Hii sufulia na, tuta, na, tuta, na kama vile mwenzangu amesema tutaibeba It is the sibo of hunger ja ambayo iko Kenya hii na ni jaya ya tubo tumeona sasa hata iko jaya ya fikira watu wako na jaya hata ya mafikira kama mtu anaweza andika kama ile barua iliyoandikwa na watu ya CCK kuna jaya ya school fees 3 million kids are out of school most of them from Mount Kenya Kiabu has the highest number of kids who are not in school today this symbolizes the inability of the Uda regime to deliver on anything. Forget about the promises that they made to Kenyans. And it is good that William has recognized that the Sufria is empty. It is so empty that we are even putting it on our heads. Yes. Let him address what this is talking about. And it is not siyasa ya kuchesa na hii. Ile mambo yako ya kweta kanisani na kuwanza kuchesa zile sarakazi zake. He has lied to us enough number of times from the pulpit. Ile wogo yote tunasugukana nae hapa Kenya hii, alisema kwa kanisa kwa pulpit. Abebe hii, apeleke kwa pulpit. Atuambie vile ataijaza chakura. There is also the issue that you've talked about the members of parliament who are elected. Tafadhali, wale ambao walichaguliwa. Mulichaguliwa kuweka chakura kwa hii sufuria. Wachaneni na uhuru, wekeni chakura kwa sufuria. Uhuru ametumia miaka yake kumi akijaribu kuweka chakura kwa sufuria.